Well, first of all, I just want to say thank you to all for all your support, for all the nice things that you guys are saying about me. I want to thank Richard, Golden Boy, and Showtime for giving me all the opportunities. And they are the ones that are bringing my career up and helping me get a lot of fans. I'm just very happy, excited for the win, and I just want to say thanks to, to Victor, who he's, really, he's right here with my representative. His brother just passed away today. And he's right here still with me, really strong. He, he, didn't, he didn't go, he didn't leave me. He stayed here with me. So uh, I please ask for him for a grand applause for Victor for who he stayed here. Thank you. Thank you. And I just want to tell you that I'm very happy for, for my victory tonight. I hope uh, the fans and all you guys were happy with my performance. And I just want to say thank you to all the fans and to all the raza. Y estoy muy contento. Gracias. Oh yeah, I leave it to my team and to my manager, to my promoter. Uh, but yeah, I, that was I was looking forward since before Mejares and Terrazas fought. I was hoping that whoever won from them, uh, they could give me the opportunity to fight for a world title, and hopefully my next fight is for a world title. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm ready for any type of fighter. I've been saying that whoever I'm not scared of nobody. That whoever fighter they put in front of me, uh, I'm ready. I will go to the gym with my team and work and fight whoever. First off, I want to thank God, thank everybody who came out to support the, uh, all the media. You know, uh, it was a great fight, a very good, tough one. Something I needed, you know, uh, face adversity. Um, you know, just uh, I'm 15 and oh, I was 15 and 0. Uh, you know, a lot of these younger guys like me ain't fighting the guys that, that, that were fighting like like a Rosado. So hats off to Rosado and his team. Definitely put on a good performance. Um, it definitely be a bigger learning, ex big learning experience for me. So I just want to thank God for the victory and thank my team, Mayweather Promotions, Al Heyman, Leonard Ellaby, Golden Boy, uh, Showtime, and it was a great one. I mean, I knew it was a close fight. You know, it was a very close fight. We were both putting in some good rounds, but at the end of the day, like I said, I'm not a judge. I'm just a fighter. You know what I mean? I, at the end, when it when it comes to the end of the fight, it's in their hands, not mine. You know, so. At the, you know, it, it, the outcome is what it is. I mean, we didn't warm up to our, you know, like we would like, would like but I mean, you know, no excuses. We, you know, I, I performed the way I did. The last pound, you know, I never had weight problems, you know. Uh, I had a lot of stuff going on this camp, but at the end of the day, no excuses. You know, a fight is a fight. I have time to prepare for it and things like, like any other fighter. So, uh, you know, we should have had to wait down, but you know, we suffered the consequences by having to go lose it later. We didn't want to, but we did what we had to do. Yeah, first and foremost, I just want to thank God for the op opportunity I had today. Um, you know, uh, congratulations to Jay Love. Um, even though I think at the end of the day, we all know who really won this fight. Um, the fans spoke, everybody on Twitter. You know, the commentators had me winning. But um, it is what it is, man. My, my road to the, um, as a professional hasn't been easy. But, um, you know, I think today was clearly like a disgrace in boxing. You know, I definitely should have walked out with that title today, but it is what it is. Hey, look, I'm a true fighter, man. I'm a true Philly fighter, and it doesn't matter to me whether it's 54 or 60. That's why I come up at, in weight, because I just want to fight. If I could make 47, I would drop the 47. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, I just want to rumble. Um, the dudes at 60 are a little bit bigger than me, but that don't mean nothing to me. You know, I, I stood in the pocket. I think I fought a smart, crafty fight. I was doing veteran moves. And, um, you know, I think, I think, you know, uh, I did what I had to do to pull, the, pull out the victory. You know, and the fans, you know, they spoke. And, you know, they cheered for me, and it is what it is. Yeah, I believe I won those rounds. I had them hurt in those rounds. You know, I had a 10-8 round, and a judge who he should, like, lose his job had the fight scored 97-92. That's, like, that's crazy. How you, got, how you scoring a fight 97-92 when I get a knockdown? And I obviously had him hurt in different rounds. Um, what I did, what, the way I fought the fight was a smart, crafty fight. I was in the pocket catching punches, throwing short shots, things that a lot of people forgot about. You know, and I felt like I just fought a smart fight, man. But at the end of the day, the fans is holding me down. They showing me a lot of love, and you know, that gives me motivation to keep it moving. Honestly, I was never hurt in the fight. I was never hurt in the fight. I was gamed. I, was, I bit down on my mouthpiece. I knew it was on the line, and you know I put it all—I put it all out there, man. And you know I really, truly felt like I won the fight. 
according to. I felt like, you know what I'm saying, what, what else could I do? Knock him out five times. I wish I could have did that. You know what I'm saying? But I probably would have still lost by a point. But, you know what I mean, you know, look, good thing that this fight was on a stage like this where the world saw it. You know, if this would have happened in the Blue Horizon in Philadelphia, nobody would have believed me. But, you know, it happened on the world stage, on pay-per-view, millions watching. So, at the end of the day, the fans know who won. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and I'm going to just take it at that, man. So, I'm just, I'm happy that it was able to be televised on such a big event.